don't see anyone suspicious around. It seems clear for the moment. Let's go inside and wait for Xingqiu. First, we must ascertain whether Xingqiu was already in Inazuma or not. If we can find evidence of him deceiving us, then we can use it as leverage to persuade him to tell us the truth. Since we're still waiting for him, why don't you go and chat with other guests in the restaurant and see if you can learn anything useful? The last phase of the Iridori Festival is when they release the all-new publications. The one I'm really looking forward to is A Legend of Sword. That's right! A signed first edition is going to become quite the collectible. I've got to get my hands on a copy. I've seen Gen Yu's signature before. His handwriting is super neat. He must be really diligent about his style. He'll be there in person on the day of the release, so we'll get a good look at him then. I hear that he's actually pretty young. Wait a minute! Did you just hear that? Not only will Xingqiu be signing novels at the release, but his handwriting is super neat! Welcome to Uyu Restaurant. There has been so Wait, many lively young customers here. recently. Alpedo, what should we talk about when Xingqiu gets here? Any ideas? Hmm... I will try to break the ice by talking about our work on novels and illustrations. If he really is hiding something, then he might feel even more nervous than we do. If we start by talking about our work creating novels, perhaps he will lower his guard. Oh! Come to think of it, Shincho mentioned that he'd like to thank you for finishing the illustrations on time. He said they looked amazing despite the time you had. Is that so? Hmm... That is also a very valuable clue. Hello there, what can I get for you? Hi! Do you have any special recommendations today? Why, of course. I personally recommend our freshly caught seafood. It's been pouring these past few days, so the fishing boats haven't been able to sail at all. But the weather finally cleared up today, so we have some fresh catch. So the weather at sea has been bad these past few days? It sure has. A few guests from Liyue were just telling me that their boat was heaving and rolling all the way here. They couldn't do anything but sleep the entire trip. Oh. This might be some useful information. Mmm, that was delicious! Inazuman cuisine largely consists of fresh seafood, which is certainly to my liking. <laughs> That's good! We were worried you might not have an appetite because you didn't sleep well. Now's our chance. Let's talk to Shincho and see if he says anything useful. Maybe we could start by asking him about the journey. Well, I've never embarked on such a long journey before. Though I was quite excited when we set off, the long days at sea quickly became most monotonous. Speaking of the journey, did anything noteworthy happen along the way? Well, to be honest, I spent most of the trip with my nose in a novel. <laughs> well, that didn't tell us much. What book were you reading on the way here? Oh, I was reading a novel called Pretty Please Kitsune Guji. It was sent to me by my editor. Didn't you feel dizzy while reading on the ship? <laughs> it was nothing I couldn't handle. Don't forget, I'm proficient in the arts of the Guhua clan. That being said, there were quite a few people aboard who felt seasick. Well... 
There doesn't seem to be anything suspicious about what he said so far. To be honest, there wasn't much to see. Just water all around, morning to night. The sheer monotony of the trip caused everyone to grow a little impatient. So, when the peak of Mount Yogo finally appeared in the distance as we approached the islands of Inazuma, everyone crowded the deck to have a look. However, the ship sailed along at a crawling pace. It took a whole day from the time we saw the mountain peak to the time we docked. Paimon didn't catch anything suspicious so far. Oh, right! If it took an entire day to reach the docks, then it would have been pouring rain at the time they saw the top of the mountain. We learned a couple of things from his account, but we still require more evidence. Let's discuss creating novels with Xingqiu. While it is entertaining to read novels, writing one is an endeavor of its own. You must give great thought to every detail, from the layout of the plot to the rhythm of the lines. And even when you have come up with interesting content, there's still no guarantee that it will be to your liking. I couldn't agree more. Whether it's writing a book, creating art, or studying alchemy, seldom can you really feel joy after seriously delving into the work. Shincho and Albedo are getting into some deep topics now, but nothing suspicious has come up. Speaking of illustrations, Albedo, I've long wished to express my sincerest gratitude for providing the illustrations in my novel. My novel didn't sell well in Liyue, so I must admit that I had some reservations regarding its potential. Yet you've consistently managed to select the most important scene of the chapter for your illustrations. This made me feel as though what I was trying to express could be understood after all. Uh, thank you. However, I took some risks in the illustrations, so... I'm feeling slightly uneasy myself. Light novel illustrations are typically centered around the characters, but this time, I adopted a different approach in the illustration for the last chapter. Well, that scene was intended to depict the change in the world, so I thought it very fitting to draw only scenery. Hmm... Doesn't sound like anything suspicious has come up so far. No, there was a crack in his alibi. My illustrations were sent for printing the moment they arrived in Inazuma. So, logically speaking, there's no way he could possibly know what the illustrations look like. Uh, Xingqiu, we have something very important to ask you now. Oh? Why the solemn looks all of a sudden? Huh? I'm afraid I don't follow. Mr. Okazaki told us earlier that actually the weather at sea was very bad these last few days. So when you said that everyone came running to the deck to see Mount Yogo, that couldn't have happened! On top of that, the latest installments of A Legend of Sword will only be revealed at the Irodori Festival. Even we, the creators, haven't received a sample copy. If that's the case, how could you know what my illustrations look like? Uh, uh, well... The jig's up, Shincho. You were already in Inazuma before today, weren't you? Are you in some kind of danger but can't tell us the truth? Don't worry, the Traveler and Albedo are no pushovers. We can help you. No, no, please. You misunderstand me. <sighs> I suppose my lack of sleep is inevitably taking its toll on my mind. I didn't notice for a moment that you were testing me at all. I did in fact come to Inazuma early to handle some things. Let me consider how to explain this. Oh, this is most embarrassing. Oh, well, if this isn't a coincidence, I didn't expect to see everyone here. Huh? Tone Deaf Bard, what are you doing here? <laughs> I heard that the owner of this establishment has some fine aged wines. I didn't want to miss the opportunity to taste them. Hmm. Paimon knew you couldn't possibly be up to anything good. Says who? In fact, I come as the bearer of good tidings. I just bumped into Kujo Sara a moment ago. She said that the Tenryo Commission has apprehended the criminal who stole all those copies of A Legend of Sword. You needn't worry about it any longer. Huh? The criminal who stole... A Legend of Sword? 
Uh, did I say something I shouldn't have? Oh no. The person they apprehended. Was it by chance an editor named Onodera? Apologies, Kujo Sara didn't mention a name. But I saw her taking someone toward Hanamizaka. Everyone, it's too late to explain. We must make haste and rescue Onodera! Adventure time! Wait! Onodera is innocent! Oh, so you must be the author of A Legend of Sword. I didn't expect to see others tagging along with you. Anyway, you mustn't take him away. I can explain everything. No need to worry, Zhenyu. I've just explained everything to Madame Kujo, and Kuroda has testified for me. Yes. In fact, we were just getting ready to leave. Oh, phew. What a relief. Hmm, wait a minute. Does everyone else here already know? <laughs> <clears throat> well, to be precise, we had dispatched two additional squads here, in order to prevent the suspect from escaping. Uh... Shinjo looks pretty flustered. What exactly is going on here? Uh, ahem. Though it's most embarrassing. It appears quite a few people are aware of the situation now. There's no use keeping it a secret. In the end, I'm the one responsible for this whole predicament. No, Jin Yu. It's only appropriate that I take responsibility for this. Everyone, please let me explain. For the Iridori Festival, I recommended the idea of selling newly released novels signed by the authors. Not only was this the first major project I was in charge of since joining the Yai Publishing House, but Lady Yai also gave me a lot of support. However, I did not discuss our plans with the authors in advance. As a result, it caused a great deal of trouble for Gen Yu. Yes, to be frank, calligraphy is not my strong point, so signing events are really not my forte. Even though such an event will be difficult for Gen Yu, after telling him how important the plans were to me, he immediately boarded a ship to Inazuma to come up with a solution. So these past few days, Jin Yu has been actively practicing his handwriting. However, it takes time to sign each book, and we realized the time we reserved for the signing was not nearly enough. So I came up with the idea of moving the new books from the warehouse to my place. That way, Jin Yu could use these few days to sign them all. I thought everything would work out without a hitch. I never expected that someone would immediately realize that the books were missing from the warehouse. To make things worse, I was on vacation and staying with Jin Yu in my house these past few days. I had no idea that the situation had turned into such a huge mess. <sighs> All of this happened because I wanted to prove myself through this event. Onodera, I agreed to your proposal because I didn't want the readers to know of my unsightly handwriting. Also, I knew that Onodera had been misled by one of my prior signatures. At a previous event, the Yai Publishing House had requested autographs of authors so that they could be put on display. I practiced tirelessly for an entire day to finally deliver a stylish and elegant signature for the event. But, looking back on it now, I had dug myself into a hole by delivering that nice signature for the sake of my pride. Hey, come on you two, loosen up a little. The theft was nothing more than a simple misunderstanding. Besides, everyone has something they do not wish others to see. Yeah, that's right! All that matters is that Shinjo and his books are okay. Onodera, I think you should explain the truth regarding the stolen books to the rest of the people on Rito. Yes, I understand. I'll apologize to everyone. We should probably be heading back to Rito as well. Let's tag along!
Benny's adventure team! If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready.
that gliding be faster? Ugh! 